Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Assassin's Creed 1. We've finished the Revelations walkthrough, now it's time to start from the beginning. This was my other option when I first asked what you guys want me to play, you guys picked Revelations. I still want to play Assassin's Creed 1 next. Now, I have a an 100% profile, I've finished all the achievements, everything in the game's done. I even did a whole series dedicated to finishing all the achievements. Now I don't want to delete, because there's only one save file, I don't want that cutscene to start, because there's only one save file, uh, I don't want to delete that game, so I've just made just a random account named a channel, a game attack, just so I can start a new game from the beginning, so I can play that way all the Desmonds part of Assassin's Creed 1. So when you see achievement popping, you guys are like, wait, is this the first time I was playing? No, it's not, but... I think it's the first time I've ever replayed, no, second time I've ever replayed the Desmond part. I've replayed from start to finish my full game, which is the Altair missions from start to finish. But we'll get right into it, without further ado. New game. And enjoy every second of Assassin's Creed 1, and I think, I'm not sure, we might go in order now for the rest of the Let's Plays, and skip, but once we finish Brotherhood, we'll skip Revelations and go to, oh no, we won't go to 3, but we'll play 2 in Brotherhood next, probably. And then we'll play something better. We're not playing three. That's something that's not happening. We're not playing Unity either. That's also something that's not happening. I forget this. Tutorials! I applied my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. I perceived that this also was a chasing after wind. For in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increaseth knowledge, increaseth sorrow. <laughs> yeah, let's just get started, eh? I don't need, I don't need all this got tutorial. Problem. What the I can't fuck? anchor him to the memory. Too much psychological trauma. He's rejecting the treatment, retreating. Shut up, Lucy. Desmond, I need you to try and relax. <laughs> Let me try and stay Trying to relax. You just captured me. Oh, Get me out of here. What's going on? The sound of my voice. No. You recognize that what you're seeing isn't real. It is. It can't hurt you. Feels like you hurt me. Give it a moment, Miss Tillman. He'll adjust. The first time is never easy. We're losing him. Ah! We need to pull him out. Now. All right, Desmond. We're going to try and bring you out. I'm not keeping that going. There's the first introduction to the Animus. And now, Mr. Desmond Lies. I told you he'd be fine. Bastards! Now, now, I just saved your life. Saved my life? You kidnapped me. You strapped me into that thing. Animus. It's an animus. I don't even know you people. Why are you doing this to me? You have information we need, Mr. Miles. Information? I'm a bartender, for Christ's sakes. What do you want me to do, teach you how to mix a martini? We know who you are, what you are. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play coy with me. There isn't time. You're <laughs> an assassin. And whether you realize it or not, you've got something that my employers want. Locked away in that head of yours. But I'm not an assassin. Not anymore. Yes, your file indicated as much. Something about an escape. Most fortunate for us. What do you want from me? For you to do as you're told. The Animus will allow us to locate what we need. Once we have it, you'll be free to go. I am not going back in there. Then we'll induce a coma and continue our work. When we're done, you'll be left to die. Truth be told, the only reason you're still conscious is because this approach saves us time. You're insane. So what is it, Mr. Miles? Live or die? Lie down. Pretty easy choice there. A wise decision. 
should have waited and seen if they'll just fucking shoot me in the head. Where am I? You're inside the Animus. Which is... It's a projector that renders oh, genetic so memories in three dimensions. Genetic memory. Looking at oh, it's Seems you'll need a bit of a I tutorial. What it's like. Very well. We'll start simple. What is a memory, Mr. Miles? It's the recollection of a past event. Specific to the individual remembering the event. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what if I told you that the human body not only housed an individual's memory, but the memories of his ancestors as well? Genetic memory, if you will. Migration, hibernation, reproduction. How do animals know when and where to go? What to do? That's just animal instinct. Now you're arguing semantics, Mr. Miles. Whatever you call it, the fact remains. These creatures hold knowledge absent the requisite first-hand experience. I've spent the past 30 years trying to understand why. I discovered something most fascinating. Our DNA functions as an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations, but memories as well. The memories of our ancestors. And the Animus lets you decode and read these DNA files. Precisely. But there's a problem. This is the specific memory we're trying to access. Unfortunately, when we try and open the memory, your mind withdraws. You lack the confidence to step into your ancestor's body. That's what happened earlier. You got knocked out of the target memory and pushed back to a more stable state. Why? It's your subconscious. It's resisting. We've found similar reactions among patients who undergo hypnosis to relive traumatic events. They can't jump directly into the specific memory. They need to be eased in. Even then, there can be problems. So how do we fix it? We find a memory you can synchronize with, and we move forward from there. You'll get used to it. This is the closest we can get, so it's where we'll have to start. I'm uploading the tutorial program now. No, I'm good. I'll skip that tutorial if you don't want. Of your ancestor's life. Okay, I'm a lady. Respecting the creed. Cool. So I skipped all the tutorials because I don't think any of you need to listen to shit. Thanks, bitch. The most stable Let's memory this. block will now be loaded. Thank you. Let's do it. So for those of you who don't know, I'll just set up the game right now. If you've never seen or played Assassin's Creed 1, this is Altair Ibn La Ahad. You've probably heard of him if you're a fan of Assassin's Creed and watch my channel. Uh, so he's about 26 years old. He's now a master assassin. He grew up being quite a young, humble assassin. But uh, since he became a master at such a young age, he's grown arrogant over the past year. Since he got the rank of master, very arrogant in fact. Thinking he can do whatever he wants Wait, to complete his mission. Wait, there must be another way. This one need not die. <laughs> An excellent skill. Fortune favors your blade. Not fortune, skill. Watch a while longer and you might learn something. Indeed. He'll teach you how to disregard everything the Masters taught us. And how would you have done it? I would not have drawn attention to us. I would not have taken the life of an innocent. What I would have done is follow the creed. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Understand these words. It matters not how we complete our task, only that it's done. But this is not the way of- My way is better. I will scout ahead. Try not to dishonor us further. What is our mission? My brother would say nothing to me, only that I should be honored to have been invited. The Master believes the Templars have found something beneath the Temple Mount. Treasure? I do not know. All that matters is the Master considers it important, else he would not have asked me to retrieve it. So you can see straight away the arrogance of Altair. Him thinking above the creed, above the brotherhood, and that he's the most important assassin. He has a lot to learn in the ways of the creed. And this is partly a redemption story, as well as just an introduction story to this whole universe. We're at Solomon's Temple. A very significant place in Jerusalem. And we're retrieving a very important artifact. For the Brotherhood and the mental al Walim. That must be the Ark. The Ark of the Covenant? Don't be silly. There's no such thing. It's just a story. Then what is it? Quiet! Someone's coming! 
I want us through this gate before sunrise. The sooner we possess it, the sooner we can turn our attention to those jackals at Masiaf. Robert de Saab, his life is mine. No. We were asked to retrieve the treasure and deal with Robert only if necessary. He stands between us and it. I'd say it's necessary. Discretion, Altair! You mean cowardice. That man is our greatest enemy. And here we have a chance to be rid of him. You have already broken two tenets of our creed. Now you would break the third. Do not compromise the Brotherhood. I am your superior, in both title and ability. You should know better than to question me. What a fucking dick. <laughs> This arrogant prick just wants to go straight after the Grand Master of the Templar Order. Hold, Templars. You are not the only ones with business here. Ah. Well, this explains my missing man. And what is it you want? Blood. You know not the things in which you meddle, Assassin. I spare you only that you may return to your master and deliver a message. The Holy Land is lost to him and his. He should flee now while he has the chance. Stay, and all of you will die. Men! To arms! Kill the assassins! Yeah, so this is the dick. I'll tell you. Trust me, don't worry guys, he grows on you. Just give him a chance. Kind of. So he just got Malik and his brother killed. Two assassins. Broken all three tenets of the creed. And uh, let's just say he's not he didn't do a good job, and now the Templars have the the temple treasure. The Ark of the Covenant, also known as inside it, a piece of Eden, the apple. And there's the holy city Jerusalem. Part of memory to a more recent one. Such a gritty game. Graphics wise, sound wise, everything about this game I love in that it really immerses you in that style. Altair, you've returned. There's a bus. Oh, no. It is good to see you unharmed. That's not a bus, never mind. I trust your mission was a success. Is the master in his tower? Yes, yes, uh, buried in his books as always. No doubt he expects you. My thanks, brother. Safety and peace, Altair. On you as well. So that's one of the guys that actually likes us. Not a bus, the fucking dick who we know from Revelations, as well as the Secret Crusade book. But a bus is in this, and that's something I actually really like. If you watch my Revelations walkthrough, or just no Revelations. Uh, a bus is the main villain of Altair throughout his life. His enemy, a fellow assassin, his best friend growing up that turned against each other. Uh, real dick, a bus. Even bigger dick than Altair. And a bus is a character that isn't important really in this game at all, even though he's so important in Altair's life. But he is a character that's there. And then when you learn more about Altair's life, you realize that this one random guy that's there every so often is actually way more important than you first think when you just play this game. Really, really cool moment. So let's head up to the stronghold of the assassins, Masyaf. We were just here in the last episode of the walkthrough. Well... Ah, he there's, returns at last. There's a bus. A bus. Where are the others? Did you ride ahead hoping to be the first one back? I know you are loath to share the glory. Silence is just another form of ascent. Have you nothing better to do? I bring word from the master. He waits for you in the library. Best hurry. No doubt you're eager to put your tongue to his boot. Another word and I'll put my blade to your throat. There'll be plenty of time for that later, brother. 
So you just get this hint a couple times in this game of that dickhead. Clearly doesn't like you. But he's a very significant character. It is an honor. So I love how everyone loves you at the start. And then... Well, let's just say it doesn't go great. Al Malim. Altair. Master. Come forward. Tell me of your mission. I trust you have recovered the Templar's treasure. There was some trouble, Master. Robert de Sable was not alone. When does our work ever go as expected? It's our ability to adapt that makes us who we are. This time it was not enough. What do you mean? I have failed you. The treasure? Lost to us. And Robert? Escaped. I send you, my best man, to complete a mission more important than any that has come before. And you return to me with nothing but apologies and excuses. I did. Do not speak! Not another word! This is not what I expected. We'll need to mount another force. I swear to you I'll find him. I'll go in. No! You'll do nothing. You've done enough. Where are Malik and Kadar? Dead. No! Not dead. Malik? I still live at least. And your brother? Gone. Because of you! Robert threw me from the roof. There was no way back. Nothing I could do. Because you would not heed my warning! All of this could have been avoided! And my brother... My brother would still be alive! Your arrogance nearly cost us victory today. Nearly? I've watched your favorite fail to find. Here, take it. Though it seems I've returned with more than just their treasure. Master, we are under attack. Robert de Sable lays siege to Masiaf's village. So he seeks a battle. Very well, I'll not deny him. Go, inform the others. The fortress must be prepared. As for you, Altair, our discussion will have to wait. You must make for the village. Destroy these invaders. Drive them from our home. It will be done. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Well, there's the dickhead. Got Malik's brother killed. Malik survived and returned with the piece of Eden. Now it's time to fight. Altair, it's good you've come. We need your help. What's happened? Templars. Obviously. They attacked the village. We know. Most of our people were able to get away. Most. But not all. What do you need me to do? Distract the Templars. Keep them occupied while I rescue those still trapped inside. As you wish. It will be done. Okay, let's go. No, thank you. I got this, I think. Hey, bro. Come at me. That worked out well for you. Baseball! I just killed a fucking civilian. I'm sorry. Come on. Keep this going. Fuck. Fuck you, bro. Shit. Oh, shit. Heavy attacks. Not a fan of those. Jesus Christ. Fuck off. 
We must get to the village. Well, we're already in the village. The entrance of the village. So many Templars. No, I'm good. I'll just I'll just end your life if you, that's alright. There we go. Oh, stick some of that into you. My nice solid two right in your chest. Fuck off. I just got here. Oh, god damn it. We were doing alright, boys. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. And we retreated. Oh, cool. Out of my way. Atayer, come. Al Mualim's not done with us yet. Where are we going? Up there. We have a surprise planned for our guests. Just do as I do. It should become clear soon enough. Not a big fan of surprises, though. But I'll do it. Now, this might just be because of the start of Revelations or the Revelations trailer, but this moment just becomes extra special, knowing that Ezio Stand comes up here too and sees the Altair ghost. Heretic! Return what you have stolen from me! You've no claim to it, Robert. Take yourself from here before I'm forced to thin your ranks further. <sighs> you play a dangerous game! I assure you, this is no game. So be it! Bring forth the hostage! Your village lays in ruins, and your stores are hardly endless! How long before your fortress crumbles from within? How disciplined will your men remain when the wells run dry and their food is gone? My men do not fear death, Robert. They welcome it, and the rewards it brings. Good! Then they shall have it all around! Follow me, and do so without hesitation. Show this fool knight what it is to have no fear! Go to God! What a cool moment. At first you're like, wait, what? What the fuck? And then you're like, oh wait, this is the coolest thing ever. Fire! Oh, oh my leg! Shut up! Oh, They'll hear you! Oh my leg! Quiet, or the Templars will hear us. Ooh! Oh, that's gonna hurt. I'll stay behind and tend to him. You'll have to go ahead without us. The ropes there will bring you to a trap. Go and release it. I got this. Don't you worry. I'll kill these Templar scum. This ain't my first radio. It's just supposed to be. Okay, tutorials, please stop coming up on my screen. I know how to play. Oh, that's not it. Let's try that again. Slowest climbing ever. Slow and steady wins the race, right? That's what they're supposed to say. Not in Assassin's Creed. Nah, it could be worse. Hey Templars, go fuck yourself. Oh, you did well to drive Robert from here. His force is broken. I oh, know. It shall be a long while before he troubles us again. You can thank Tell me later. Do you know why it is you are successful? Because I'm the best? You listened. Were it that you'd listened in Solomon's temple, Altair? All of this would have been avoided. 
What are you I talking did about? as I was asked. No, you did as you pleased. Malik has told me of the arrogance you displayed, your disregard for our ways. What are you doing? There are rules. We are nothing if we do not abide by the Assassin's Creed. Three simple tenets, which you seem to forget. I will remind you. First and foremost, stay your blade. From the flesh of an innocent, I know. And stay your tongue, unless I give you leave to use it. If you are so familiar with this tenet, then why did you kill the old man inside the temple? He was innocent. He did not need to die. Your insolence knows no bounds. Make humble your heart, child, or I swear I'll tear it from you with my own hands. The second tenet is that which gives us strength. Hide in plain sight. Let the people mask you such that you become one with the crowd. Do you remember? Because as I hear it, you chose to expose yourself, drawing attention before you'd struck. The third and final tenet, the worst of all your betrayals. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Its meaning should be obvious. Your actions must never bring harm upon us, direct or indirect. Yet your selfish act beneath Jerusalem placed us all in danger. Worse still, you brought the enemy to our home. Every man we've lost today was lost because of you! I am sorry. Truly I am. But I cannot abide a traitor. I am not a traitor. Your actions indicate otherwise. And so you leave me no choice. Peace be upon you, Altair. <laughs> Well, fuck. Well, that's kind of what you get. That was clearly all Altair's fault. One hundred percent. All his fault. He's experiencing a far better adoption rate than the other subjects. I'm still pulling him out. He's been in there way too long. No, not yet. We're still so far from where we need to be. We shouldn't risk it. What's another hour or two? Why don't we discuss this in the conference room? Give Desmond a minute to stretch his legs. I really don't see the need. Warren, please. Fine. Someone's pussy whipped. And that's you, Warren. I love how they totally ignore Desmond, like he's there as a person. Has to leave me to get up. Isn't he a prisoner? Can I use Eagle Vision yet? No, I can't yet. I can't look at all the crazy shit that is secretly left behind here by Subject 16. And I can't access computers yet. I literally can't do anything. Except listen in. Let's listen into this. Ooh, Desmond's becoming a sneaky little fuck. Do I sleep now or do I go back out there? I'm not sure. I think I go back out there. We're done for today, Mr. Miles. I suggest you return to your room and get some rest. Okay.
No, I haven't landed a pickpocket yet. I can't do anything to these guys. I'll get you one day, Warren. Don't you worry, I'll fucking get you. But right now it's time for a nap. Damn it, they locked the door. So it's like to be a prisoner, man. That's what it's like. <laughs>